Smooth, yeah, yeah. You got to remember that people were very, were very poor many years ago. Uh -huh. So the only thing that they had, it was water, water flour. and flour. I'm done. I'm done. You're I'm done. You're done. done. You're fired. done. You're fired. fired. and welcome back to my new series. I'm going to travel all America to taste and teach you the best Italian food. So hopefully you like watch until the end because it's gonna be really interesting. Here today I'm in Newport Beach, California. It's going to be outstanding because you're going to learn and I'm going to taste and see at the end if this is gonna be a real good restaurant, Italian good restaurant. So let's go ahead and enjoy this video, let's go. Hello, Sandro. Fantastic. Ciao, nice to nice, meet you, my nice friend. Nice to meet you. Nice. Everybody's been talking uh, a lot about this restaurant, so I'm so excited, like you can see, <laughs> to taste your pasta. Well, you're in the right place. I know that you guys have pizzas and everything, but I'm here, first of all, to teach them and uh, myself how to make the pasta homemade. Thank you for coming over. Vito, now let's go in the kitchen. Let's go get our hands dirty. I'll show you how to make pasta gonna... and we'll show them how to make pasta. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Vito, are you ready to make some pasta? My friend, I'm born ready. I'm born ready. We have two different flowers. We have yes. a double zero and then we have a semolina rimacinata, which means that it's a very fine semolina. So basically... In case you don't find the semolina, you can use a oh. regular flour. Okay. Fantastic, that's what I was so, about to say. So we have, uh, we will start, we'll make two different pastas. One is from uh, Northern, so from Liguria. We're gonna make Trofie. And the other one is from uh, your hometown, Puglia, Cavatelli. Of course, okay. guys, we are in Puglia. We have to make something from Puglia. Ha. Sandro here is it's going to show us how to make the real deal, how to make pasta in the easy, is possible way. So from today on, don't go to the restaurant, make your pasta. Just joking. Eh? Correct. No, because, they yeah, can, this yeah. is one of the best restaurants. So today you're going to learn how to make the pasta. So what we need for this is very simple. So in both cases we need flour and water. 125 milligrams of water. Yes, and, and, and 250 grams of flour. Okay, Sandro, so show me how to make the pasta and then after you made it, I have to sit down, enjoy this pasta and judge. Let's Bye. do it. So we start with the, same, with the double zero flour. We put it on the counter, okay? And we create a little well, let's call it well, okay? So then, with a fork, we add the water a little bit at a time, okay? And we make sure that we incorporate the water. Little by little. Little by little, okay? So basically, we have to incorporate all the, the water. All the water, there. correct. So Sandro, when did you open this restaurant? This restaurant I opened in uh, November uh, 2018, so the end of November 2018, just prior to the pandemic. So you are bringing the authenticity to the table, basically. Correct. Because I see, you're doing like uh, my grandmother used to do. Yeah, so all our pastas, they are all made in-house. Okay. So obviously, from we have scratch. from scratch. We have an extruder to make spaghetti, which you cannot make by hand. We have uh, rigatoni. We have all those pastas here that are on the menu, and we all make with extruder. So basically, on a daily basis, we make almost 20 pounds every day of pasta, fresh and, pasta. And this is simple, just two ingredients. This so is very, it. this is very simple. So this is a pasta that everybody is going to be able to make. You know? Yeah, yeah. You and the good thing is no eggs. How come is no eggs? Because this is a. You, you got to remember that people were very, were, were very poor many years ago. Uh -huh. So the only thing that they had it was water, water flour. and flour. That's it. Check his uh, Instagram. Uh, what's the name of the Instagram? Instagram uh, we have two. Is uh, we have uh, Bello by Sandro Nardone, and then we have uh, Chef Sandro Nardone. So you can follow. On, yeah, just follow yes. both. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead. Yes. Let's make the dough. Let's dirty your hands. This process is gonna take. 
a few minutes. Yes. Okay, Sandro, how did yes. you start uh, to become, how you became a chef? How did I become a chef? This is a really, so my family was in the restaurant industry, in the fast food industry, but uh, I didn't like fast food. And to be honest, I was not a really good student at school. So <laughs> when I finished my middle school, all the, the teachers recommended my parents to sign me into culinary school, which was the, the easiest one. And so basically, I went to culinary school and then I started uh, liking it and uh, you know, that's how I became a chef. Fantastic. Uh, I worked in a few restaurants. Uh, well, all, restaurants uh, everything in Italy, in Italy right? Everything where, where, in Italy. In, where are you from in Italy? So I'm from a little town called Atina, which is between Rome and Naples. It's very close to Cassino. And uh, I went to culinary school in Cassino. So. And then how, how, why, you be, why you came to the United States? I used to always come on vacation here in the United States oh, because like I have me. family here in Newport Beach and Laguna Beach. And, California, uh, no? California, yes. And so then I decided in 2009 to open my first restaurant uh, in Data Point and nothing. And then uh, you know, here we are today. Fantastic, fantastic. I heard a lot of people talking about this pasta, so really I can't wait to taste it for the first time, your, your pasta. Okay. Yeah. Okay, take, take over, take over. Thank take you. over, right. Sorry. No, you're good. So what we do, you can see that the, all the water and flour was incorporated, yeah. okay? It took so. about 10 minutes to do it. Yeah, we want to make sure that it's nice and... Uh, Tight, nice and uh, Yeah, nice and, uh, how do you say, um, uh, uh, smooth. Smooth, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now the dough is ready. What we're gonna do, we gotta let it rest for a little while. So we create a bowl, okay? We keep on the counter and we cover the bowl on top of it, okay? Like this, and we leave it like that so it doesn't uh, get anywhere. We will let it rest for about 15 minutes, okay? 15, 20 minutes. And now uh, we'll no, we don't, yes, please. I'm uh, gonna make the other one with the semolina. Fine with the semolina, semolina, yes. Hey, you guys, again, you can make the pasta with the regular flour. Also, if you can find it, what's the difference between using, using the 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 semolina, fat obviously, semolina. Obviously, obviously, it's the texture of the pasta, and uh, the semolina basically is the same uh, flour that they use to make uh, polenta. But in any case, if you can't find, if uh, nobody can find, if you cannot find semolina, just use regular water, uh, regular flour, and it's the same thing. Oh, first time making the pasta. Come There's on. always a first time for everything. You know, I'm sure that if you're good at making uh, pizza, you're gonna be good at making pasta too. So, so yeah. we have all no my doubt. all my subscribers right there, they always make uh, make pizza at home. Now they can yeah. make a pasta. They can make pasta, correct? So, so guys, consider it to subscribe. It's totally free, and like this channel, and of course share. This way they can see the art of making pasta. pasta correct. Sandro, so how are we gonna make this pasta? What, what, what condiments are we gonna put once it's ready? So uh, uh, with the cavatelli that you are making, we're gonna do a norcia sauce, okay? Norcia sauce, okay. Which is a sauce based uh, with uh, sausage, homemade sausage that we make, porcini mushroom, and then we're gonna put some black truffle on it. Okay? Oh man, fantastic. The other one, the trofie, uh, we're gonna make uh, with uh, shrimp. Okay. Shrimp and cherry tomatoes. And then, of course, if somebody's vegetarian, they can easily they make can whatever they They can do whatever put. kind they of want. sauce they like. Anybody can do whatever they want. They want. Something very important. Yes. They can make big quantities, and how do, it, do they save you, the pasta? So you can make a big quantity of pasta, and uh, once, it's it. once it's rolled out, okay, yeah. you can put it in trays, not one on top of the other, and just freeze it. Freeze it just freeze like that with the tray. When the pasta is freeze frozen. in the tray, frozen, they can uh, 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 put it in the package. Pack it, pack it in, uh, so in, um, in bags, okay? And they can keep it in the freezer. Anytime they want it, they don't need to defrost. They just put it in boiling water, salty boiling water. Very important. The water has to be salty. Otherwise, the pasta tastes of nothing. And that's it. Guys, then, something better than this. What do you want? <laughs> Come Let's on, guys. And, and you know what? You and you know what? Right, right, and, the, that. and the thing is this. The thing is this. Pasta requires a lot of water, so it doesn't matter if it's a small quantity. When usually, you cook, when you cook, yes, usually okay. for a hundred grams of pasta, you need one liter of water. Uh huh. I didn't know that. Yes, the more the, the pasta wants to dance in the water, it has to have space in the water. It doesn't have to be all gotcha. one on top of the other. Gotcha, okay. Gotcha. So this dough is ready. Okay. Okay. And now we're Let gonna it rest make... for about uh, maybe 15, 15 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. Rest in there for 15, yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. That's it. Voila. Put right there. Like this. Done. Perfect. 
Now let it rest for a few. Okay. This one is ready. Yes. Voila. So this. So what we do? We never put away this because we, you oh. want. So the pasta we use. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do very similar right, to what you do with the pizza. Okay. Uh huh. So like this. Okay. Cut it. We're gonna break it into. Okay. Make and a ball? then, yeah, you don't need to make a ball. You can just cut it into okay. pieces. And so then, what we do is, you pinch a little bit of this pasta, okay? Pinch. Like this, a little bit of pasta. You put like this, okay? And then you do this movement here, like this, okay? And oh, like, like this. this, like yes. this, and like this. No, you pull. You do like this, look, like this, look. Like you're going. You know what I used to do with this? Ah. I used to fish. I used to when I was little in Bari. I was going to fishing with this. Getting yes. a little ball. And pick it a little bit and put in the, the thing there and mm -hmm. go fishing with this. Like this, yeah. But anyway, let's get back to the trophy. So, like this, yeah. hold on a sec. Hold on, I'm gonna learn this. Yes. A little bit of pinch. A little smaller. Smaller. smaller, smaller. Half. So, so, like that. You, yes. So, like so yes. F, so, F, you F, put F, like this. Yeah. You put your hand on top. I'm gonna make the balls or no? No, 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 no. You put it like, like that. You go forward like this and then sideways like so this. So, they're gonna make sure. And then sideways. Like that. You like no. it? Sideways. Yeah. Not bad. You're gonna make sure that it's dry there. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna learn this. Oh, like this, and then with your hands, no, like that. No, I, I always leave my hand like this, though. Like this, like this. So one thing that it's important when you do I this, you don't need to clean the, the, the board very well, so it has a lot of grip, and it's easier for the pasta to, you know? But yours is coming better, man. It's okay. We got one plate of pasta, so now how Correct. do we, that's it? Very easy. You that's can what put I'm it, yeah, you it was really easy. Like this. So you put so it now in a, how do we you put it in a bowl like this, okay? And and if you oh, oh sorry. Excuse no problem. You put it in a bowl and then if you want, you just put some uh, some flour in it, some semolina yeah. or some regular flour. And uh, you put it aside, okay? And this we're gonna cook in a while. Okay. We're gonna But if they make a lot, if they make a, put a if they make a lot, they don't wanna put the pasta one on top of the other. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't put it on a sheet pan. In, in a sheet pan, okay? And then what you're gonna do, you can freeze it in the sheet pan. When it's frozen, you can automatically package it in uh, portion portioning bags and then keep it frozen. Gotcha. So this we're gonna save here and we yes. we're gonna make some with Perfect. The, the one that I made. So Right. So this, this is a cavatelli, okay? Cavatelli, so yeah. what we're gonna do is this. To make cavatelli, what happens is, usually, uh, you have this, you have this uh, tools, uh, tool, which is a, a wood tool, which they used to use many years ago. Well, but uh, they, they're not gonna and, have this. And peop if people don't have this, you can use a grater, okay? okay I will show, show you both. Show me the original way, and then we go. So the what you do, obviously, house. you cut the the pasta, okay? And you roll it like you're rolling a gnocchi or like you're rolling yeah, yeah. a noodle, a large, big noodle, okay? Spaghetti. Spaghetti or whatever, okay? Then, okay, you cut it into... The size that the The size they that want you want, it. which is basically usually like this, okay? Oh, this is the same way how to make the orecchiette. More or less, yeah, okay? And then what you do, very easy, you get the board and you do this, look. And they got the cavatello. Easy. Boom, 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 baby. Easy, those are much easier than, eh? Voila, then, the cavatello. The thing is this, if you don't have this board, yeah. which is easy, you just use a grater, which is the same thing. You but like the, this? Well, the grater, they're gonna go... Yeah, just like this, look. That's it. But they can cut uh, the other no, side. You can, no, no, this is the way. So the, so the sauce sticks to the pasta. Oh, that's, that's why. It. You won't cut yourself, don't worry. Okay, that's let me it. see. Please. Let me try, let me try. I tell you, put it there and then... Do some pressure, not really a, oh, a hard really pressure. Okay. Yeah, Gentle. delicate, yes. Okay, and then it goes by itself, I like this, look. Mm. The reason because we do it on a tool, it's to give it that uh, the, texture, the so texture, so the sauce, so the sauce this sticks the to the texture. pasta a lot, be a lot uh, better, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, Sandro, so this was a super easy. Now, the pasta, it's ready. We have some pasta. Now what we're gonna do is this. You're gonna go sit down oh. at the table. I'm done. I'm, you're okay. done. You're I'm done. done. You're, you're, fired. Done. you're fired. fired, yes. Okay. 
And it's I'm the going time to, to taste. I'm guys. going. I'm going to cook the two pastas with different sauces. Yes. And you can judge it. Okay. Well, guys, we made the pasta exactly in less than 10 minutes. Yes. In less than 10 minutes. Okay, Sandro, I'm gonna go there, sit, enjoy in your beautiful restaurant. Taste. It's time to taste. Wow, Vito, top oh. class. Oh my God, top class. Wow, Damn. man, the look is like a, we just made the pasta. <laughs> we just made the pasta. So now, just get into it. So, so this is a the norcia, norcia yeah. and the norcia, porcini, and porcini sausage and uh, winter truffle. Well, this one looks. This one is the one with the shrimp, the trophy with the but shrimp. So you get, you gotta taste it with me. I gotta taste it with Hold you. Hold on, let, okay. me let me taste it first. Okay. Wow, look at the texture of this pasta. The texture is amazing. It stays. You did a good job. Well, what can I say? You, the texture, it's a. Uh, it's outstanding. You can feel that it's all made. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's totally different it's from chewy. the one. Yeah. It's, it's chewy, but it's also a fragrant. It's, a, it, it's crazy. It, it's, it's really good. It's it, really good. So all our pastas, they're homemade on a daily basis. So this is now, what the guests eat here every day. The people them told me about uh, this restaurant. They are completely 100% right. Probably this is the best pasta I taste in the all the restaurant that I went I to. I appreciate it. Thank I you, Vito. This Please. One. This one, keep it for me. Yes, Maybe. okay, I won't touch it. Don't worry. <laughs> you can have it. This one, outstanding. This is my, you know, shrimp. I'm gonna get a nice big bite here with everything. Let's see. Wow, just, I just went I just went back to Italy with one bite. Outstanding, outstanding. Bueno. Thank you so much no, for- thank you, Vito. Thank you so much. I'm gonna say bye to everybody here and then we get inside the plate. Uh, thank you so yes, much. Uh, I want you to finish both because oh, you're, 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 you're too slim, okay? You gotta, you gotta eat some pasta. Guys, please smash the like. Tell me what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see you at the next episode. This is the new playlist by Maestro Vito Copelli. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you. Bello in Newport Beach. You have something come to say? Come see us, yes. Come see us at Bello in Newport Beach. Thank you so much, Vito. And uh, of course, we guys. hope to see you soon, okay? I will, I will definitely will come. I'm I live close. Thank you so much, guys. And smash that like and subscribe. Ciao.